Hey everybody, Rod Scott here from Tech Guy Smart Buy, and we're back here with the HTC Amaze 4G for T-Mobile. Um, just going to talk about it a little bit and get into the, you know, the, the important details to let you know if this is a device uh, worth you looking at. You know, if you're a T-Mobile customer, or if you're not, and you might be looking at T-Mobile, going to T-Mobile, is this a contender to be your next purchase? Uh, we're going to talk about it and see what's so good about it, what's so bad about it, and, you know, what's so amazing about it. Okay, first of all, about the Amaze, um, this along with the Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile is, is one of is their first 4G phones that go up to, that can, can theoretically support up to 42 megabits per second. I mean, no one's doing that yet but it just it definitely gives for a higher ceiling for faster speeds so the question you know if you're in a 4g area if you're in a, one of their hspa plus areas you will see a significant boost of speeds compared to previous uh high-end android hspa plus phones on the carrier um i was able to get as high as 16 megabits per second and on the download, on the upload, still really not like 1.63 1. megabits per second. But, you know, for T-Mobile HSPA Plus, um, that's really good. You know, it's actually kind of keep catching up to Verizon's LTE network um, in regards to the speed department. Um, of course, unfortunately, that does take a hit on the battery. Not as much as you think because this thing has a pretty big battery. This has a 1730 milliamp battery. Um, you know coupled in the back of this thing um just a quick glance um this thing does have gorilla glass on it in case in case you guys are asking or wondering i'm using the go launcher which can be found in the android market and also the go keyboard if that's something you might be into um yes that has the gorilla glass has the two megapixel front facing camera right there right above the t-mobile logo um power button uh 3.5 millimeter uh audio jack um it's a funky it looks a little funky but um it's like hcc's uh, version of a micro usb any micro usb uh charger would work for this so don't don't look at it and be like what is, what is that um you know microphone right here you know the standard uh, home menu back search buttons um, now this is interesting this has an actual dedicated camera button and as well a dedicated camcorder button so you know whatever app you're in you can just hard press it and then um, it'll take you to the camera mode so you can you know take a picture or something you know autofocus touch to touch to focus you know 8 megapixel camera uh, we'll get in that to a second um, in a second in the back you have this uh, the two little holes for the speakers for you know speakerphone or you know listen to music and you know boldly printed 8.0 megapixel autofocus camera with uh, two LED flash um, dual LED flash I'm sorry um, the camera is pretty good. It's actually it looks like okay. It's 8 megapixel. It has um, I guess you, you may have seen it on the specs it has a f 2.2 aperture lens and what that basically means is that um, That basically means that the camera can perform better in low-light situations. So it's 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 kind of along the same same premises as the iPhone in regards to really getting good into the it's being a real superior uh, camera on the go. It's actually the same lens used in the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G slide, in case you were wondering. Um, this actual, this is, a, the whole thing is aluminum, well, aluminum that's gray anyway, aluminum unibody um, case. So, so it's not, it's a lot easier to take off because I remember uh, I was actually on the train with somebody uh, with HTC Sensation and that was, you know, it had a similar design but not as easy to clip off. See, the thing is down here and then you just hit that and everything, you know, and then it just comes off. Now, it just looks a little weird because the phone, you can kind of pretty much exposed. Oh, I'm pressing buttons. Come up to make a phone call. Um, here's the battery. 
uh, SIM card, micro SD slot, and, and everything else you know we previously discussed. Now, on the back of this is actually, I think if I'm correct, it's actually within here is NFC chip embedded within it. So I mean that doesn't mean anything right now. I mean it comes with the tags app where you can you know swap information, which is cool. But you know most Android users are looking forward to uh, having Google Wallet support. So hopefully this will be on the li on that list to get get some of that to to make the NF NFC a little more useful because at the current time at the current time and if, you know other than Google Wallet there really is no usefulness because you know not too many people have it. Um, Let's see, this, like I said, we talked about the speeds. Um, it, it looks a little, it's not heavy. It's not the thinnest phone, as you can see. Um, it's not bad. Um, t Mobile's actually selling this for 260 with a two year contract. But if you, um, if you go into our actual review, you can um, see a link for Amazon, which is selling it for $199.99. Um, of course with a two-year contract or you know if you're available for an upgrade if not then you kind of screwed if you want this phone um, so I mean if you have an Android if you've been through an Android phone you kind of know all the schematics on this and you know it has sense I'm using the launcher but sense is here you know if you go out and go back in you have the, the pull the ring lock it's not the newest 3.5 um, version of sense it's 3.0 if I'm correct but you know you still have um, you know decent feet you know good features uh, ACC watch is um, actually part of this um, let's see it's in here somewhere I don't know Pass it. I think I just passed it. No? It's in here somewhere. Oh, there you go. ACC watches. You know, I don't think you're going to get it. No, not going to get it. Okay. But uh, your, your standard um, your standard Sense apps, uh, Teeter, um, people, uh, like people Stream, Friend Stream, Peep. Um, you know, Lookout Security is actually um, built in on this. You have a mirror app. It's a pretty much front-facing camera app where you can just check for teeth of stuff in your nose. Um, flashlight, um, FM radio, of course, used with a with a using the earbuds or head headphones as a FM antenna. Um, connected media. Um, Everything else is pretty much standard in your HCC Android device. So, down to the nitty gritty. To buy or not to buy? Million dollar question. Hmm. We would say we we would say that if you're interested in this, you could buy it. If you're with T-Mobile, I would say why not get it. Um, if you like everything about it but not too crazy about the design then check out the galaxy s2 which is also you know it's also a fast phone it also has great features great um eight megapixel camera that records in 1080p and you know does all the good things um galaxy nexus is coming um not sure if t-mobile is going to get it i mean they've kind of been left out of all the cool phones all the popular phones I mean this is a very good phone but you know this wasn't something people were expecting or waiting for but again that take nothing away from the phone the maze is a good phone I'm not gonna say it's amazing I'll save that for somebody else um, so it's a great phone if you're on the fence about it go to T-Mobile store and check it out it's out on sale uh, hopefully you go to a store that has an actual working phone and not a dummy phone and um, that's pretty much it. We give this, uh, pretty much give this phone a two thumbs up. I would say buy it. Um, the battery life works pretty well. I mean, of course, it's, it's working, it's, it's getting faster speeds. So, you know, the more you use it, the more it's going to eat it up. But it's it's not as bad as Verizon's uh, LTE earlier devices. It's not as bad as Thunderbolt where you need an extended battery. So, um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, the HTC Amaze. 4G by T-Mobile. Uh, it's Tech Guy Smart Buy signing out. Thanks.